look here, money dad, or I want to be dad. I'm all here for family unity. I'm all here for people getting back together with their relatives or whatnot. But, sir, this is her wedding. This is her um, thing getting ready to the wedding. Why now? That's all I got to ask you. You couldn't do this before this time. You had to do it just now because you want to be. Mr. Sir, I'm questioning your motives over this whole situation because you had plenty of time and put opportunities during the show before she got this spin up to try to get a relationship with money. Now all of a sudden you seem like you interested now that she ain't got a little spin off and here to get married and start another family. So now you're in the Mr. Sir, I'm counting you. I'm counting bullshit. You, like I said, you didn't have too many damn chances with money. Money don't want to get hurt by you again because you ain't never there in her life anyways, period. Now all of a sudden, she about two steps from getting married. Now here you come. Go away, devil. She don't want none of you. Um, Miss Tori, you scared the fuck out of me. One day before the wedding, and you talking about don't panic. The cake gonna be mad. She told me to call her back and I... Yeah, Miss Tory, you scaring the fuck out of me. Um, I think that's Amanda. Yeah, I look good, Curly. You should go for that look more often. You, you kind of look kind of good there. You, you, that look look good for you. As for your sister, girl, you wishing upon a star you can't reach nor touch because you're too small. Hoping your sister move back to Atlanta. She stuck with that fucking shit. He ain't changing her mind and she ain't changing her mind. So you might want to move on to Dallas with her and be on Little Women Dallas with her because she ain't moving no time soon. She want that bomb. She loved that bomb for some reason. She stuck with that bomb. Money. I mean, Minnie. You surprised that somebody asking you don't bring no shit? You is the shit. Why are you so surprised and shocked and appalled that she telling you no bullshit that this woman win? You know what the fuck you capable of. Talking about them, you don't want no drama, but you asking me these questions. You gonna start some... Many, we ain't learned to expect the unexpected that your little ass on. We ain't gonna surprise when you do start some shit, cause we know you ain't nothing but a goddamn shit starter. Are you really that damn appalled that somebody gonna ask you that question? I don't understand why you appalled and so shocked. Somebody need to ask your ass this question. I make so somebody sit beside you where they can slap you in your mouth in case you start to do some shit, cause you know you're capable of doing some bullshit. That's right, Sam. If she starts some shit, you got all our permission to knock the living fuck out of me and knock her ass backwards in the damn chair. I don't know what the hell you feeling bad for. Yes, um, Miss Juicy do start the shit sometime, but many that don't mean you don't carry the turd along with you and ride her for the for all this worth. Don't go to act like you some type of bitch because she asking you these types of questions. Somebody need to grab you by your neck and make sure you don't start no shit at this woman wedding because you can't of any goddamn thing. God knows you are. Now, I see, little one, you were worrying about it, no worrying about nothing. The man clearly happy with you. He loved you. He ain't ready for the marriage thing yet, but he said if a child come along, it just come along, he'll be happy. See, you were scared of nothing. Unlike Chris, we know what the fuck he would have done. Girl, you got yourself a good man. Stop trying to scare yourself away or scare him away with this bullshit. Yeah, ain't no cake, and now we got to find a damn business. <laughs> Tori, the verdict's still out on you. If you get a cake, great. If you don't get a cake, then I don't know if you're going to get half to your deposit or not, because, hon, you ain't did enough in my eyes to say you earned that damn ch paycheck. You might have earned half, but not all the way. Now your ass ain't got... Okay, Tori. Okay, now, Miss Juicy, now, you earning your goddamn title. I must admit, though, yeah, it was kind of, you know, low-key kind of shady that you was the maid of honor or whatever your title is. I think that, it, girl, I ain't keeping up with these damn titles at this way and to be quiet. Uh, you doing your goddamn job, Miss Juicy. At least you stopping up a fucking up her makeup when she two seconds of walking down the aisle. I must admit, you is earning your damn, your title here, whatever that I try to entail you show in but I mean Miss Juicy you're doing a good job. Okay now after seeing all the stuff, Mr. Knight, I was a little iffy about you too, but you did your thing. You you did your thing after seeing money dress all the way through. 
It looked like a nice dress. It looked like it was perfect for her. The bridesmaid dress looked good. Hell, even Miss Juicy looked good. Minnie, you look nice too. Harry and all, you, you look lovely. I'm going to give you your love proud suit. Miss Tori, good job with the cake. Even though it was late, you did your thing too. All right, now they did it after all the chaos, after all the fighting, after all the arguing, after all the bickering, after all the bitching, after all the disasters. They finally get it. It was a nice ass wedding. I can't deny that was that was a cute ass wedding. I almost had a little tear for her. Her look that was cute, man. I mean, money that was cute. Well, congratulations, Minnie. I'm glad you didn't take that. You did take that opportunity to take shots, but we'll let you pass since you made it all about um, money and more and so. I'm gonna let you slide this time, helpful. But don't think I ain't keep my eye out on you, cause I know you slick, helpful. I didn't told you, Amanda. Don't wish on your sister moving back to Atlanta, cause that is not gonna happen. She hypnotized by them glasses right now. Chris got her hook stuck. Hook stuck and everything else under the sun. Yeah, maybe he cheated on her. Maybe she sit with her own eyes. Maybe she'll move the fuck on. You know what? Her standing there and maybe her seeing him in his damn in his damn level and the damn same state he in, seeing him cheating and all this. Maybe she'll get a bite of that reality that she missing and maybe she'll learn her lesson to move better to, to Atlanta. And to the end, don't wish upon no star thinking Amanda. I mean, Andrea gonna move back. I, it ain't gonna happen. I told you. Anyway, though, y'all, that's the episode, and that's it for her little spinoff. Anyway, I like to thank y'all for watching another Little Women Atlanta season three money spinoff. I enjoy y'all for sticking around with me. Love y'all. Take care. Have a good night. Enjoy the rest of y'all night. See y'all next time when season four Little Women Dallas around, or I mean, L Atlanta, Atlanta or Dallas. See y'all then. All right, bye.